formula we'll be using. It's cosine theta equals u dot v, so that's the dot product of two vectors, divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. So the magnitude just means the length of the vector. And the way you do that is you can, um, I'll just show you for example, so say your vector is like this. To find that length, you're just doing the Pythagorean theorem. So it's the x-coordinate squared plus the y-coordinate squared, and then you take the square root. So it'd be like square root of x squared plus y squared. So that'll give you the magnitude of the vector. Now to find the angle, we'll have to end up taking the cosine inverse to get the theta by itself. So in our example here, we're looking at vector u, which is 3, 4. We're going right 3, up 4. So if you do the Pythagorean theorem, you're going to find out this has a magnitude of 5. This vector here, vector v, is 5, negative 12. So we're going right 5, down 12. And then if we do the Pythagorean theorem for that one, this is going to have a magnitude of 13. Okay, so I'll just circle those. And we want to find the angle between the two vectors. So first step, we want to dot the two vectors. So we're going to multiply the x-coordinates, 3 times 5, which is 15, plus we're going to multiply the y-coordinates. That's going to be negative 48, divided by the magnitude of u, which is 5, times the magnitude of v, which is 13. OK, and this equals the cosine of theta. OK, so if we simplify that down, we get negative 33 divided by 65. But then what we're going to do is to find theta, we're going to take the cosine inverse of negative 33 65ths. 